Hey guys, I just got back from Safeway. I stocked up on quite a bit of stuff. This is just a normal Leafly grocery haul, but I also did have to get a couple odds and ends that we were just out of, so I added up to a little bit more. I spent just under $300 this week. I do have some fun meal plans though. I have different dinners that I haven't made before. So I have like a salmon dinner and just a sweet potato soup and like some random things. So I will have recipes for those eventually on my cooking channel. I'm not quite sure, probably maybe like a couple weeks you can expect to see those. So if you haven't checked that out, be sure to go check out that channel as well. But I will have the meal plan just in the description box as well as the end of the video if you're interested in seeing what we'll be making with these dinners this week. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this haul. So starting back here with some of the drinks that I got, we got Sunny D. This is what my youngest daughter picked out for orange juice. Two raw kombuchas, these are both the lemon berry. I don't see these very often, but it is definitely one of my favorites. So when I grab it, or when I see it, I grab a couple. I have two things of cold brew. I'm not too picky with what cold brew I do get. I don't love the Duncan ones, but this one was on special. So I grabbed two of those, some whipped cream for strawberry shortcakes, three things of milk for the week, along with some soy milk. I use this for like my lattes, or I have like tea lattes that I make sometimes instead of espresso. So I generally will drink this. Sometimes other people will too. Some cinnamon toast crunch creamer. And then I grabbed some buttermilk for a recipe that I'll be using as well. Um, for I believe it's the coleslaw that I'll be making is what calls for this. Some bananas. These ones actually looked pretty small. But they're kind of the perfect size for my kids to eat to just have one. And then some broccoli, some just to eat, some for sides for dinner. And then I'm also making a broccoli and beef stir fry. So all of that will go with that. And then I think I may add some snow peas to the broccoli and beef. I'm not sure. So I grabbed those as well. Cabbage for the coleslaw. It's like a KFC type coleslaw that I'm going to be making, which I will be filming as well. So be sure to look out for that on my other channel. And then I have some sweet potatoes which I'm going to be making a sweet potato soup with as well. Probably film that too, so that's another one you can look out for. Pretty much any recipe, like new recipe that I make, I'm going to try to add on to that. Some feta cheese for a pasta salad. Um, a thing of this light and fit Greek yogurt. This is some of my favorite yogurt. It's really good, low in calories. Uh, this is the strawberry cheesecake and then a raspberry lemon tart celery for snacking as well as potato salad these will be for the pasta salad as well as snacking super good deal on berries they were all buy one get one free so i grabbed two strawberries two raspberries and two blackberries and then some eggs i grabbed some carrots i have to shred these up and use them for the potato salad as well as just for like snacking and stuff. And then over here I have two peaches, three lemons for a recipe, a couple nectarines, a red onion for the pasta salad, I believe, and then two white onions for some recipes, two apples, these are both the NB kind. Some of our favorites are nice and crispy, but still tastes really nice and sweet too. This is the uh, White Done Right Bread by Dave's Killer Bread. This is what we always go to. Two things of cheese. I got a shredded Mexican style as well as a Parmesan. And then I grabbed two packs of this. One is the Italian dry salami. And then the other one is pepperoni. My kids have been loving just snacking on plain pepperoni. So I grabbed this for them. They also like to put it like in their eggs and make like little egg pizzas and stuff like that. So I grabbed that and then the salami one, they like to snack on salami as well, but I also got it for the pasta salad. So moving on over here to the good stuff, <laughs> I got some lemon sorbet for myself and then some vanilla bean more for the kids. They've been loving like root beer floats and stuff. So I got two of those. Two things of cheese tortellini for the pasta salad. I grabbed two things of this bacon. I don't know if I've ever actually had this brand of bacon, but it was 50% off, so it was less than $2 per pack. So I figured we'd try it. 
and then a thing of this is beef stew meat but I'm going to be using it for the beef and broccoli because this was just the best option that the store had for that without having to spend an arm and a leg on like flank steak or something so I just grabbed that some top ramen just because we are out and this is just a nice quick easy like little lunch or snack if the kids want it uh, treats for the kids never seen these before they got them last time and they love them so I grabbed three of those for them this is for the pasta salad it's just the Newman's own uh, Italian dressing soy sauce for recipes and then I got brown sugar because we're almost out and I need it for a couple recipes. Some jasmine rice. These chili and lime sun chips are really, really good. I love um, dipping them in hummus and eating them. Super, super good snack. Some cornbread mix. I'm going to be using this with, I'll be making it with the sweet potato soup. Some Bisquick. I'm going to be using this for strawberry shortcakes. It's what we used to use when I was a kid and they are so, so good. So I grabbed this because I don't think I've made them ever before myself, but I was craving them the other day. So grab Bisquick and we can also use it for pancakes or whatnot. Two things of Pringles. So we got an original and a sour cream and onion. Everyone loves these. They're gone so fast. My youngest insists on writing her name on the top to try to get no one else to eat them. Never works, but she tries every time. Uh, two things of corn. Three things of diced tomatoes. These are both for the sweet potato soup. Sliced olives for the pasta salad, along with pimentos for the pasta salad. Seemed like a weird addition, but I honestly don't know if I've ever actually eaten pimentos. But it was in the recipe, so I grabbed it. I grabbed three things of just light tuna and water. Some tartar sauce. Two things of these crab cakes. I haven't bought these in a while, but they are really, really good. And it's just such an easy dinner. You get five of them in here. So really one of these could feed our whole family, but I just bought two just in case someone wants an extra one. And then we can just have leftovers or have them for like a side with something else for whatever's left over. Some mayo because I was running low and I'm making some, I'm making the coleslaw and potato salad and a few other things. So I'm gonna definitely need that for all of those. Some lemon pepper for the salmon that I'll be making. I have just some extra pickles if I needed them for the potato salad. There's always good to have on hand. And then I got this salmon. This is some, let's see here, sockeye filet. So it's just sockeye salmon. It's just fresh wild caught salmon and then my youngest daughter saw the otter pops so I grabbed those kind of a summer necessity anyways and we don't have any yet so grabbed those and then just some sandwich meat this is just a regular turkey I think that is everything that we got I hope that you guys enjoyed this weekly grocery haul. It was fun for me to be able to add in the prices this week. I know when I go and I watch videos, it's fun to see the prices. It makes it more interesting, that much more entertaining to see what people are paying in other areas of either the United States or the world even. So I am in the Pacific Northwest, if that helps you kind of judge where I'm at compared to where you guys are at. Um, I am excited as well to make these dinners that I have planned. So once again, I will have my dinner meal plan in the description box. And at the end of the video, if that's something that you're interested in, there's a lot of new meals that I haven't made before that I'm excited to make on there. But thank you guys so much for watching this week. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.